gets us started. And we'll see the freshman Isaiah Green lead this Hokies offense on first and 10. They'll start from the 25-yard line. Taking care of the football, and I think that's something that you got to watch emerge today, especially in a big game like this. He's hit as he throws on first down. The ball is loose. And on the first play from scrimmage, the Hokies force a turnover. It's the bell cow in the middle. The big guy, it's Ricky Walker. Is going to play a huge factor on both sides for Virginia Tech this season. They're plus eight in turnover. What a nice job, 18 touchdowns, eight interceptions this year. Through the fog. Keen with the reception and a nice defensive play for no gain. This fog is something else today at Lane Stadium. Willis to the end zone for Turner. And it's through his hands and incomplete. Good coverage by Carrion Merrill. A lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups outside. Hazleton's got to take advantage of them. The 33-yard try from Johnson is up and good. He's made three consecutive field goals. Marshall just under 40% for the season on third down. Hokies bring pressure. Green looking for some space. Green will take off. And with an extra effort, I think he picked up the first down. Say here, Green going through a progression. Do they try to use his legs to their advantage in this game? Through the fog, Green back to pass. He's hit. Let's go of it to Knox. He somehow shakes that tackle and picks up the first down but he likes to do it with his four down lineman. He might have to change that up this, this game if that doesn't uh, if that doesn't pick up. Well, they bring pressure here. Green has to throw across his body and has a man wide open deep into Virginia Tech territory inside the 30. Again, Vatek decides to bring five here on a linebacker blitz. And Green just finding his guy outside the pocket. The key is there, he keeps his... Green has all day to throw, fires it left side, and that's a catch for Tyree Brady. 24 to 22 in the first quarter this year. On this third down, to the end zone again, and it's picked off! Bryce Watts, he fractured his arm earlier in November against Boston College. He's playing with plates and screws in his arm. Still 3-0 Hokies on top of Marshall after the turnover. Hokies take over when we come back. In all of the ACC conference, it's about running the football for Virginia Tech today. Turner in motion. They fake the sweep to him. Willis keeps it, and Willis picks up the first down. You're a part of that front seven. Very, very disruptive. Willis on third down, a pitch and catch to Hezekiah Grimsley. That's what you love to see as a Virginia Tech fan on third and medium, your quarterback, Ryan Will Saw one of nine true freshmen in the country to start the opener on the offensive line. Off play action over the middle. It's six for the Hokies. Grimsley with his second touchdown grab of the year from 46 yards. And Virginia Tech has a 9-0 lead in the first quarter. Let's take a look back at that touchdown. Yeah, put your eyes on Marshall's middle linebacker, number 35. You see him bite the run right there, and that's a part of the RPO that's so dangerous is you force defenses. Defenses can't be right. How do you not jump the ball right there if you're Frankie Hernandez? You pull the ball out if you're Willis, and you throw a strike. Good two confident throws that last drive that have hurt Virginia Tech so far. He's 3 for 7, 44 yards, and an interception early on. Three-man rush. Nobody home. And a three-and-out forced by the Hokies defense. Ricky Walker is the starting quarterback early in the season, but he has this Hokies team in a position to win their sixth game and make their 26th straight bowl game as Willis is brought down from behind at the 40-yard line. Channing Hames with his fourth sack of the year. It's a loss of 10. Central defensive coaches this week. They spoke high praises of Channing, number 94. He's a freshman. People passing situations like this one again. Can you get to the quarterback? Virginia Tech plays it conservative on third and 17. And McLeese takes it to the 43-yard line. And so Virginia Tech can't do anything with a good field position. It's defense because he made it very clear. Look, Virginia Tech loves to load the box. Here's a big play. A foot race to the end zone for Knox. 
Will he be caught? Yes, a touchdown saving tackle inside the five yard line by Bryce Watts. But an explosive run of 67 yards for Brendan Knox, and it's first and goal for Marshall. We talked about all these running backs being dependable, but you can see the overflow, the over for pursuit by Virginia Tech right there because of the fly sweep motion, and it opens up the angle back door for Knox to create a gash, but it is great effort by Bryce Watts, who picked off the ball early, try to make something happen. Third and goal at the two. The handoff to Knox, and Knox is in. Marshall's on the board as the clock in the first quarter expires. Down again, but put your eyes on the right guard, right tackle for Marshall right there, Madden and Adams. Look at the push they get on, the big cowbell. Defensive lineman Ricky Walker for Virginia Tech. That's really what kind of opens up that crease for the touchdown run. Again, it's a, a tribute to the depth at the running back position for Marshall. Willis off play action on first down, throws the slant to Turner, and big play Trey has a first down to the 44-yard line. Deep in Virginia territory last week. Willis keeps it off the play fake, and he picks up the first down to the 45-yard line. Pass completion like they did on that drive from Willis right there allows them to just kind of use their tempo to their advantage. Willis pressured, fires deep. Has Trey Turner, touchdown! Wow. 45 yards to the freshman Turner. Well, this kid is something. Watch the pocket movement right here by Ryan Willis. Feels it, steps up, two hands on the ball. Most quarterbacks take off and run right there. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you. Catches, so. They get him involved in all different sorts and types of plays. Quick play action and a reception to the right side. A first down along the sideline. Find a way to get points right here, and I like the play call on first down. Get your quarterback into a rhythm, settle them down a little bit. Knox with another carry, dragging a tackler for a first down near midfield. Dax Hollyfield and Reggie Floyd combine on the stop. Again, watch the right side of this offensive line for Marshall and Hollyfield and some of these guys up front for Virginia Tech. Marshall three of five on third down. And it will depend on the spot, he might be short. Ricky Walker in there, fourth and a half a yard for Marshall. And he did not get it. What another stand by this Virginia Tech defense. Third down and four for Virginia Tech. Willis underneath and a big hit. At midfield by Chris Jackson. So here is Bradburn on to punt for the second time. Oh. I'm not sure I've seen that it's before. Gotta, it's got to be kick catch interference. Second and four. Knocks the carry, trying to get to the outside and does. The first down and more for Knox. Down the sideline. Still in bounds inside the 30 and down to the 28 before Bryce Watts pushed him out. He has a touchdown, a rush for 67 yards, and this big game. Well, Bryce Watts comes off the corner blitz and he almost gets Knox before he trips, but watch away, Knox. Boom! Boom! Green to throw, he's pressured, dumps it off to Knox, but what a play to blow up the screen, Ray Shard Ashby. If he doesn't make that tackle, Knox might still be running. Isaiah Green, phenomenal job of just finding your back right there. You can see. Grimsley and Turner, the two touchdown receptions. They go at the sweep to Turner, makes one man miss in the backfield, and then picks up the first down, pushing the pile to the 33, the 34-yard line. That is where Ryan Willis seems to be the most comfortable when they get some type of positive play on first down. They go with the play action on the sweep, set up the screen left side to McLeese. McLeese to the second level. Will McLeese go? 25-20 and down inside the 15-yard line. Chris Jackson saved the touchdown, but Deshaun McLeese picks up 54 on the screen. We talked about how good Virginia Tech was at scheming you up and running different schemes and this time it's McLeese. He only has five catches on the whole season. But that's what Justin Fuente is so good at.
Keen in motion. Willis looks that way. Steps up looking for some room. Dumps it out. And it's a touchdown for the Hokies. But this one looks like it's coming back. Two flags down. I think they're going to get Willis for an illegal forward Personal pass. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Wow. Defense. The touchdown counts. The foul will carry over and administer on the kickoff. Here again, the quarterbacks around the country are taught, when in doubt, when you get pressure, find a back. That's exactly what he does. Of course, they had the missed extra point as well. A lot of miscues in this first half for the Thundering Herd. They go at the tunnel screen to Henry, and he picks up the first down. And if he didn't get tripped up, he would have had a whole lot more. Would rally to the football. On third and nine, Green fires, and it's broken up. Bryce Watts jumped the route on Brady. Hokies have all three timeouts left. Peoples, the first down, and he dives towards midfield. What you got to make sure here is your, your Willis. Don't take a negative play. Don't take a sack. Play action, Willis. Over the middle has Kuma. And Kuma drags the defender inside the 35 to the 32. Get a big touchdown, then great, but got a chance to go up 27 to 6 here. Willis with the pump fake for Kuma. Touchdown, Hokies. Of course, right when I say they're playing small ball, they go deep. Virginia Tech. All he does is pump fake, double move. Good job keeping your eyes on the safety and not staring down the receiver the whole time. That you see what it takes to play at the next level. Willis steps up, going deep again for Turner, and he hauls it in. Over Nazi Johnson, inside the 35, Trey Turner, the freshman. With Willis throwing the football in what you call a phone booth. Look at the tight pressure co collapse. Play action. Willis pressured, he's hit and goes down. Second sack of the day for the Marshall defense, and it's Channing Hames again. Take another look. Yeah, second sack for Hames today, and I thought Willis should have pulled the trigger right here. It's the same type of play they've been running. All Willis just not pulled the trigger when the guy was open. On third down, Willis is sacked again. And guess who? Channing Hames. Back-to-back -back sacks. This environment, I think he's handled it overall pretty well. Again on third and long from the end zone. Green, he'll just take off. And Hollyfield shoves him out of bounds. Well shy of the first down marker. Sherwood, and if you're Marshall, you got to dig deep here. I know you've been backed up on your own side of the ball a couple times. But again, making a play. Bad field position. Who's only been in this system two years. Sixth penalty on the day against Marshall as Willis is pressured and a drop. They've got to find a way to get outside of their own 10 to 15 yard line. It's been a tough day for Isaiah Green, but he just takes it down to his tight end underneath. And he lost the football. Who jumped on it? Marshall. That's basic fundamental. I mean, he's carrying it like LaShawn McCoy carries it on Monday Night Football, like it's a loaf of bread. And I'm sure that's what is going to drive insane. Third down and short. They'll throw for it. Green got planted as he threw it. And again, some miscommunications with his receivers. Leaving the catalyst to their successful drives. When they get a, a short gain or a negative play on first down, it's really hurt them. Yeah, it's a common theme. When they get some type of positive yards, it usually carries throughout the drive for them. Well, there's a positive gain for a first down for Peoples. And when he first got there, he had to play freshman right away. Plug and play, as he told us. And because of injuries and other circumstances this year. Only a sophomore. Well, his catch just put Ryan Willis up over 300 yards as Peoples with a burst of speed. The first down inside the 20 to the 18. His head turned up field when ball made contact with his hands. Underneath to Kuma on third down and eight. And he is dragging his defender on his back inside the 15-yard line of the 14. Put in these type of situations, especially in the second half, but really all game, and they haven't folded at all. Brian Johnson. 
quarterback an option to go somewhere with the ball that's very advantageous for your offense. Green steps up over the middle, and he has Tyree Brady to the first to the 40-yard line for a first down. Well, to generate pressure again, not just sacks because sacks can be a misleading number, but affecting the quarterback in many ways. Here's a big play and a first down for Marshall inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. In a too high safety look, and they run a double move with Gaines, kind of an out and up, and it's a good job of keeping the receiver. Second down and eight. Willis up high and almost picked off. But now a flag as well. It was looking for Kuma. I think they're going to get holding on Marshall's DB. IU tops in Conference USA in third down percentage. Close to 50%, but they held him to four of 14. Virginia Tech is three of nine today. Make it three of ten. As Marshall's defense gets the stop they needed. Five yards from the end zone. It's the fifth time Marshall has started a drive from inside the 20. King around the outside. The first down and more at about the 31-yard line. His eyes on the ball and the player right there didn't call that. Marshall has to regroup now on second and 10. Green flush to his right. Slings and it's caught. Medium game there on second down. Ashby with his 14th tackle of the day. There is a flag down on the other side of the field from where the play happened. Marshall now into Hokies territory at the 47. Blitz coming from Virginia Tech. They set up the screen to the receiver. And he has a lot of space down the right side inside the 25. Diablo finally makes the stop on Marcel Williams. You're going to throw the ball, basically a quick train out to the perimeter. Watch these offensive linemen. you got to catch the ball behind the line of scrimmage for it to be legal. Catch it, get north, follow your big boys. Third and four, Marshall four for 11 on third down. They go on the ground to Knox. And the second effort. Let's see where they mark him. Get set, run it as fast as you can. Maybe you catch them with some miscommunication. Knox trying to get to the outside, and he is stopped behind the line. Second time today, the Hokie defense has gotten a stop on fourth and one. 34-14, the score remains. Been there for less than one yard, so Tyree Rogers makes an incredible open field tackle, but credit the front seven for Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. Able to walk off the field with some help. If we get an update, we'll give it to you as Peoples. Nope, Willis kept it. He's wrestled down well behind the line of scrimmage at the 30-yard line. Omari Cobb with the play. Down again, you can get the ball back to your offense. Are they going to bring pressure from the field, or are they bluffing? Draw to Peoples, trying to find some space. The conservative play call. Picks up a nice gain on third down and eight. Fuente talked about how Heartbroken he was to see a guy like Mackenzie Milton go down like that as Holston breaks through the pile and he will take it in for six. 40 yard score for Holston. And you could put this one on ice. 40 to 13, Virginia Tech leads with under five minutes to go in the fourth. Really the first time all day that I feel like Marshall has let their guard down defensively and not played all the way through. And when you got to fresh-legged running back like Jalen Holston as well draw play to Knox on first down Knox gets to the outside and picks up the first down a gain of 11 and Jeff Brahma is building something great at Purdue but Ohio State went on the road and got thumped by yeah. four touchdowns to an unranked team as green too high and incomplete it's fourth down. I, I, it's hard for me to justify putting them in over Oklahoma. State squeaks one out. Oklahoma's going. Fourth and short. Here's Green. All day. Trying to find someone to throw it to. And has his tight end for a first down to the 40-yard line. They're, they're now one for three in the game. Now you mentioned Rakeem Cato, the quarterback for Marshall from 2010 to 14, and this is Rakeem Cato-esque, just playing a little backyard football. Interception.
Green pressured, steps up. He's going to take off. The first down and more, and he ducks out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Just two minutes away from Virginia Tech going to their 26th straight bowl. Here's a bullet caught inside the 10 by Xavier Gaines, who had the touchdown earlier. What I think why the future is so bright for Isaiah is because he's a passer first, a runner second. Knox trying for his second score of the game, and he's in there. Touchdown, Marshall. And it's a credit to the mental toughness for them to just continue to play, continue to play. And it's also the third longest ever in college football. And that's the final snap of the game. After a four-game losing streak, Virginia Tech had to beat their rival Virginia. They did that in overtime. They had to beat an 8-3 Marshall team that was running a three-game winning streak, and they did that. 41-20, to your final score. As Justin Fuente and Doc Holliday shake hands, as the teams do as well. And what an effort, Hudson, on both sides of the ball today offensively and defensively for the Hokies.